Today we're going to talk about the set analysis. Set analysis is the base and the crux of CLEC. It's a very important concept in CLEC. It's where all the expressions in the front end are built around. Not all, but majority of them. When you're talking about the real analytics, you will be dealing, you will be using that almost in every expression that you are building. So let's get started. So just to understand the set analysis, is nothing, it's just a way to apply filters and conditions within an expression. What by that I mean is, for example, let's just start it, get started with putting the sales amount in open here. So it's gonna make an expression KPX overview. I will just going to do chart here. And then let's put, bring some filters over here. Let's bring category name and let's put market. Let's make it a little bigger. And what else we can put in? Okay, I think that's enough to get started. Then we will see what else we can do. Okay, so let's say I'm interested in looking at EU sale now. So if I just click over here, so I what I, what I can do is I can see, you know, the sales amount is shortlisted. But, and this is basically the filtering thing. Or for example, if I click man's cloth, so this further drill down or filtered. What I want to do is actually that I, I do not want to click over here to see this particular sale. I want that it's when I logged into the system, it's showing me EU sales and you know, I will call it as EU sales. So this is how we are building a KPA. We, we have a KPA called EU sale. So what we can do is one way is we can write a condition just like we write in Excel or we write a case in SQL. If market, you see it will, when we're writing the expression, it automatically prompt us what is possible values or possible fields that we can do is equal to EU, then it's sales amount, else zero, and let's close the F. You see already some, there is a sum expression and, and here we are seeing that if it is fine or not. And let's just apply it and you see, this is now shortlist is despite of, you know, we don't have any filter over here. Then the next step. So this is good. We can do that, but click has a better way to do it. Writing the same expression. Let me just copy it or rather have a second key PI over here just do by duplicating it and writing it in a way you know, I will have just both them together so that we can compare them. So instead of doing this, I can use set analysis. So let's, okay, let's do set analysis. First, let's start set analysis with what click has to offer with some clicks automation functionality. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click over EU, I'm going to filter EU, and then I'm going to an edit mod, I'm going to add expression, I'm going to go FX. And then I'm going to, there are multiple ways you can write the base expression. One way is, you know, you can just select the field. This is base field. So sales amount is my base field on which I want to apply the aggregation. Sum for that matter. So sum of, sales amount. When I have this selected something, this set expression will get over here. It will get enabled. So I can say that, okay, set expression. You remember if we're talking, we're talking about when in the last, uh, my, of my videos, when we talk about the distinct the total, we talked about the set as well. I can just click insert. You see it automatically. There is a, this condition. Just look at this particular condition. So, the rest of the things are just syntax. So every set analysis will start with that. I'm not going into the, what exactly technically they are called, what is there it is. Just follow the basics. Don't get confused. The idea is to have this 
in the start and this here declaring it it's ended and here we just write the expression or the condition so market is equal to and then there is another thing that you have to write it again within a curly bracket a lot of curly brackets the reason is it's a set so what's basically we're telling it that okay limit the so essentially what this particular thing is doing we call it a modifier or conditions so it's limiting my scope of the universal previously i was talking about all the sales now i am talking about just this particular portion of my set universal set so if i click on apply you see this is the amount okay i can just write it eu set amount okay so we have those both so just let me just clear it out as well so that you know you don't have any ambiguity so yeah you see that is there so this is very basic way to put a set analysis click has given us a very basic way to do it if we want to write at your own you can write at your own i'm going to write that now i'm going to remove that and i'm going to write at it one how i write it is that is the most easiest way to write first you write the base expression itself sum of sales or maybe you can you know uh, use the expression automate auto expression builder to write this amount so this is very base this is how you write a set analysis this is to get if you want to get started so this is we have the sales amount this is okay then the next step is you have a curly bracket here start curly bracket and with the less than sign so then you move your pointer in between you write the field on which you want to condition have apply condition and then again curly bracket eu yeah and this is when you know you will get more familiar you can do that uh, for the time being it's okay okay here i go apply same result okay okay now what if i think uh, if you are a starter this click has given us you a nice way to you know use its set analysis rather than you know getting uh, uh hurdled or bothered again and again to write exactly what expression you want to write or you how you want to write it so the better way would be you know to just get started and use clicks uh auto functionality so now what if i want to write now i'm what i'm doing is i'm i i'm writing couple of expressions now you know for example here i want to add uh, okay rather than you know just one value i want to add swimwear and footwear in my expression i just want to select two so i'm going to add it more and add expression i'm going to add to kpi rather okay here we have the sales amount sum set analysis and just click inside you you see it automatically write and it write two values over here with the delimiter so that's easy so you can see this expression or you can add or here if you want to add i normally start with that and then i can add and a more condition for example if let's say i just want to see this for eu so that's that easy the first thing in this we have done is adding two values filtering two values and the second thing that we have done is applying two filters two separate fields we have applied the condition and this essentially act as this point here and so what how if i re have to read it this is sum of sales amount where category is equal to sportsman sports wear or swim wear and market is equal to eu so here we are we have so i will just say okay uh, for my likings 
swimwear and sports wear are the same so sweets i say that sports sales in eu oh, i'm just calling it here we go okay so this is how we can further drill down okay so this is some basics in set analysis the next step is now we have then seen this how to add a single value single condition we have seen multiple values multiple conditions now let's use something else you know some other type of conditions that we can put it into set analysis so for that let me just make another set of this this expressions and now let's just for our analysis just let me add another amount here a thing here so here i have a quantity field let's say i just want to see the sales only those sales where the quantity is greater than 50 so greater than 50 i just click on uh, done here it automatically selects this particular quantities which are greater than 50 what if i want to put that in set analysis so here we are we already have this set analysis built so normally this these kind of things you cannot put it directly in through in the set analysis but let's see how we can you know how it comes out to be so then we can go further okay so for example if you have already put the expression and you just you know uh, you do not you just want to put the condition you do not want to use the whole thing so you can just come over here in little here set expression and click insert so it automatically oh yeah i think that has been fixed so you see it automatically has put this set analysis over here just this particular portion you have to be make sure uh, you have to make sure that you put your cursor in between or then if you you know if it is anywhere else what it's gonna do it's gonna you know paste the expression over here or then you have to copy it and paid paste it at appropriate location so you know i made the selection by using this particular expression or search um, masking so it automatically puts it there there you go and now if i just get the of this quantity you know this amount still same so i would say bulk sales let's call it bulk sales okay so this is a way to you know have it what you call it masking or search parameters uh, we can do that there is a slight difference if you see normally in single value we put single quote but when we are talking about the search parameters you have to put greater than or less uh, less than sign or whatever expression exactly you want to search and the good thing is you can put a combination of them for example again let's put market is equal to let's put this americas this time or you know you're not sure about the america spelling maybe in your data someone has actually you know uh, uh put america americas three four spellings of your market and most of the times the data is like that so you can just you, you know use this uh, steric sign as well or here you can put america but i'm just trying to you know you, you know avoid in the possibilities so if we go there apply you know it's further drilled down because it's americas okay so here you see another thing this is another important thing if you see my this particular expression main expression uses if whereas this particular expression uses set analysis along with that so my selection of americas has if i'm using if there is nothing in the set because i now have filtered out america so it automatically removes the, all the sales whereas 
if i talk about the set analysis in set analysis whatever you have used here in set analysis be it quantity be it market the impact of the selection in the data model is ignored if you have used that in set analysis so that is another you know an important uh, point so you can you know you can use it uh, in a various ways for example you know uh, maybe you are interested okay uh, i want to see all the sales in the, all the market i would i want to ignore the impact of the selections of you know maybe you want to ignore the impact of uh, category so what you can do is here i'm just copying it again just to you know showcase the difference in between you can just write the field itself without writing any condition you can just do that so what's going to do is uh, category name or you can just leave it as it is or you can write just equal sign okay so now you see if i click over here this is being impacted this is not being impacted the reason is i have included the category name without a condition over here but now the set analysis serves another purpose one purpose it serves it applies the condition now it gets larger than this conditions it gets into the other realm altogether it essentially uh, give you an upper you know a uh, function that if you want to ignore certain selections you can just put it in over the field over here and it can ignore the selection be advised when you are using that at most of the, many a times it happens that you know you have used certain thing in a set analysis and you are doing the selection then you know it's not being impacted and you are worried oh exactly what's going on i think the data model is not working so uh, many a time it happens to me as well so when you use set analysis be careful or be um mindful of that actually okay so the next thing in set analysis uh would be you know and the next uh, i will be having another video where i will be using a, a little more advanced functions uh in set analysis uh, uh so see you later